Look at that, he just climbed a vertical post. On this episode of Dude I Love My Ride, I have this very cool Jeep Wrangler JK, but it's not just any Wrangler. This is what I would call a one-ton Jeep, because it's really built up to be a true rock crawler. So, Andrew, can you walk me around this Jeep? Because this belongs to you, right? That's correct, yes. And uh, tell me what you did to it. Start with the axles, because those are beefy one-tons. Okay, so the axles are Dana Ultimate 60s. Okay. You can get them pretty much fully built out. Brakes, hub. I changed out, um, it came with a another brand hub on there. These are solid billet Yukon, they're hardcore hubs. If you blow the ends off them, they still lock. Very so cool. you've got a lot of redundancy there. Really, really good. You know, the axles are one ton, so we're solid. You know, electric lockers, eating auto, you know, eating um, electric lockers, so really, really solid. The axles are very solid. One and you got centromatic balancers, right? Yes, centromatic balancers. This the steel. So basically, it's a bunch of like little steel pebbles that uh, roll around in a circle, right? And they try to balance out the entire hub assembly, right? Yeah. As the wheel starts to speed up, they offset any imbalance. So with big tires, you always have a little. You want to get a little bit of shake. Yeah. And with those on here, you don't. It's it is smooth as smooth can be. How big are these? Thirty fives or thirty seven? Thirty seven. Yep. Thirty seven. Talk to me about the shocks a little bit more. Let's look inside. So these shocks actually work from both ends. There's four shocks there in one. They're called six packs. Yeah, come in here. Six packs. Company out of California, Metal Club, makes those. Um, they're very good shocks, and there's like I said, there's literally four shocks. In two one. reservoirs in there, okay. all in one package. Okay, gives us a lot of wheel travel, a lot of you know, a lot of wheel control. So, and how much heavier this would you say this is, right, rather than the standard JK? Oh, I'm <laughs> I'm not a thousand pounds over, but I'm getting close. Okay, winches, well, bumpers, you know, all that stuff. Axles, starts, axles. It starts to add up. Just wheels and tires. Yeah, that adds a lot of weight. Adds too. a lot of weight right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What about gearing? What are you running for gearing? 538s. 538s? Yes. And that gets you, with that size tire, that gets you back a lot closer to factory, yeah. you know, final final ratio, it gets you back pretty close. So what are you using for power? Can we pop the hood? Yeah. Well, the hood is special too, right? Yeah, this is an anniversary edition. It's a Jeep hood, but it's an anniversary edition. Okay. All right, so this is a V6? Yep, it's this is the factory V6. So you didn't uh, let's swap it? No, this <laughs> right now this is kind of the only factory part of this Jeep. Okay. In the mountains when you're crawling around, playing around, you don't need a huge amount of power. If you want to do the desert race and go, you know, run fast, right. you would have to go bigger power. But, but for crawling? For crawling, yeah, it's you're plenty good. This is 3.8. 3.8 liter. Yep. All right, but tell me about what else you added. I'm noticing some non-stock components here. Yeah, several things here. Um, brake booster and master cylinder are off a Dodge Performance car. And we'll go down here in a minute, but this has the same brakes as a one-ton Dodge pickup. Okay. So to supply enough basically brake fluid to all that to make all that work. I had to go to a bigger master cylinder and a bigger booster and well, let's even back up again a little bit. Yeah, sure. If you have a Jeep with stock brakes and big tires, yeah. you can't stop. There you go. I can testify to that. I had an accident, tried to stop with 37s, stock brakes, you can't stop. You don't have enough power. You don't have enough braking force to stop how you should be able to. So you have to upgrade this. So upgrade uh, the booster, the master cylinder, and the brakes, and now I can stop. Okay, cool. It stops very well. I have hydraulic assist steering, so I don't know if you can see it, but down there. Yeah, right here. PSC, full hydraulic assist steering. It's not a... Here's another component of that. Yeah, that's the new reservoir. The reservoir used to be mounted lower down here. That's the hydraulic reservoir for the steering now. So new, new reservoir, new pump, new lines, and and the new steering box with the hydraulic assist system built onto it. Um, under here, that's... Oh, do you have this extra cooler here? Extra coolers. There is a 
power steering cooler and a transmission cooler. In the front. Add it on. These are both add-on coolers. Okay. Then you have a beefy bumper winch. Yeah, simple, just a stubby bumper. Okay. LED headlights. Yep. And these guys right here. That's a lot of light right there. Nice. We need axles, shocks, springs. We got rock, sliders, rock what, sliders. Yep. The suspension is also, this is my third go around on a, the suspension. The biggest trick here in suspensions, if you play with them enough, keeping your control arms level with the ground mm -hmm. makes a huge difference. So if you'll look, this bracketry here allows me to do that and it lowers, it basically lowers your pivot points. Uh -huh. and it, and it gets your control arms back where down where they should be. You have a lot more wheel travel, and you also have a lot more controllability. Your the radius of those arms now is a lot more neutral, so you're not getting bump steer. And also hop axle hop also. Yeah, there this thing it's almost impossible to get it to axle hop. Okay. With the shock setup and the way the full length, you know, it's actually a five length. The way it's set up, it's okay. it is it's very solid. Same again here, full float. Rear axle. Full float rear axle, eight bolt. Yeah, bumper, you know, aftermarket bumper, tire carrier. I had to build that out, obviously, because the standard Jeep ones come with a six lug. Um, I'm running cheap steel wheels. You get in the rock start banging around rims. Cheap wheels, you can bang back out or go get another one. It's yeah. yep. What year is this, by the way? It's a 2009. Nine. Okay, so it's yep. already 11 years old plus. Yeah. Uh, can you show us uh, the yeah. interior? I mean, the, all your controls. Whoa, you have an iPad in here? So we have an iPad mounted where the radio used to be. Uh huh. How did you set it up? Can you talk me through it? Like just uh, the concept behind it? I got tired of playing with radios, traditional radios, and I wanted to try something different. So I thought, let's try an iPad. And that led me down kind of a rabbit hole. But the short version is, there's an iPad here, there's a DAC, so a digital to analog converter behind the iPad, okay. along with a charger to keep everything charged. Then the audio goes from here down to, there's a couple of sound processors under this seat. Okay. Um, and that's plumbed back into, there's a bass control and a volume control here. Okay. The iPad, you can do a lot of things with an iPad because there's apps. Uh -huh. So, you know, here we've got if you fall over, in it, it'll, it'll tell you you fell over. Okay, but that looks like a Land Rover. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's the closest we could get. Okay. <laughs> the closest we could get in this app. If you want maps, simple. And it's connected, I mean, through your phone or whatever? This iPad has, oh, iPad has um, a cellular, okay. cellular data package, so okay. it's connected all the time. Can you watch TFL Truck on there? You could. I have YouTube TV. <laughs> okay. You could, yeah. All right, but everything else is mostly stock? Um, soft top. Uh -huh. uh, this is not a Jeep. This is a best top. Soft top. I like them. Okay. I like the cut angle on the back. The fast back look. Yep. Andrew always has something going on here. Are you locking your hubs? Yeah. Old school. Old school but faithful. Yes. That's it, it's clear. Good, good, good. Look at that, he just climbed a vertical post. Oh, the sway bar is still locked up. Oh. Yes! Okay guys, so so did you see what the first time what happened? The, the, this tire was in the air. Now it's still on the ground. And you basically climbed this vertical light post. It's okay, it's just just a little just a little paint, that's all. Andrew, so 
these mods, how much approximately did you spend on everything? By the time I got done, yes. I'm approaching 35,000 in add-ons. That doesn't count the Jeep, that's what's been added to it. So axles, wheels and tires, steering, brakes, radio, an iPad, iPad, amps, bumpers, bumpers, wheels, tires, locks, we're in the $35,000 range. But now you can climb walls. Yeah, it will climb about anything. <laughs> All right, guys, I, I think it's fair to say, Andrew, you love your ride. And uh, it's pretty awesome. You guys, go back to tfloffroad.com for more news views on the real world Jeep reviews.